going on guys i'm coming at you with a simple zoom tutorial and without further ado i'm going to get into it so um beginning all i have here is my clips all already split up so i'm going to highlight all of these come over to effects and presets i'm going to search for motion file it pops up right there I'm gonna add my preset and I want you guys to copy my uh, settings. I call it my own preset because I'm weird. Double click it. It'll add it to every single layer that you need it to be on. Uh, I highlighted every layer because I need it to be on every layer. And these are my settings that um this really doesn't matter, Lee. This is default. Uh, output width needs to be 800, output height needs to be 800, and mirror the edges check that so that way whenever you do like a zoom out it won't just be black space so it'll like mirror Todoroki's face in this example so um gonna go to the beginning of the clip right here and we're gonna press s for scale now for anything zooming related most of it's gonna be do, um, done through scale now um, what you're gonna need to do is animate the little stopwatch right here by scale that's gonna add a little keyframe right here if you do not see the keyframe like it's like that all you have to do is hit U, and it'll be there. You again, it goes away. All right, so um, go to the end of the clip now, and I'm gonna go to the right. I'm just gonna drag these numbers to the right and zoom in like that. I don't ever do like absolute numbers, like for sure numbers, because like then every transition is gonna look the exact same, and I don't like that. I like fluctuations in the transition. So um, we're gonna move and then click this right here. It fits the graph the view, so it won't be all small. You can see the whole graph. And click the little square right here. These yellow lines will show up. Hold shift when dragging this one. It keeps it flat no matter how you move your mouse. This is gonna stay flat. So like that. And then you wanna pull this one down without holding shift. Cause if you hold shift, it's gonna do that. And you don't want that. It'll be good for a shake, but we're not on that yet shake coming soon so um get your you want a little ramp like this now um a lot of people get confused when they first start using the graph editor all this is think of it as the time it takes for the scale to get reach its maximum which is right here so right here as you can see the scale is only moving by simple decimals like it's not even like made a full number yet it doesn't make a full number to right here so um right here right up in here is when you start seeing the biggest change in it and then it just like goes it's gone so um what you want is you're gonna want your to have like this little slope this is what you want for your transitions and such so moving on to the next clip beginning press s again animate it and we did a zoom in on the previous clip right here so we're gonna start zoomed out it's because it keeps the fluid motion going all right and now i'm gonna go to about the middle so like right here and i'm going to make it 100 which will put it to normal view and then i'm gonna go to the end and i want to do a zoom in transition on his eye and as you can see when i zoom in oh no it's not going to his eye that's okay we're gonna fix it don't worry about it yet i got y'all i got y'all so highlight every keyframe right here, F9 again, easy ease. Go to the graph editor. And right here, don't worry if you like, you know, it's too small, you can't see. You can just easily like the whole shift on this one. And you got the little ramp going right here. Now I'm gonna pull this one back of some like that. And um yeah, pull that down a little bit. Yeah, got a little ramp right there. All right. And you're gonna do the same thing for this one. You just wanna get that ramp going. Now, as, if you notice, this one over here, like the, this one is upside down. It's like an upside down ramp. As long as you got the ramp in there, it's fine. Don't sweat the small stuff. So you got a ramp going right here. It's just like upside down. On this side, it's like the beginning. All of this, all this means is that this one starts at a negative value and this one is a positive value. That's all that means. So, moving on. <laughs> We're going to keep this going now. Um, right here, like I said, 
it's not on his eye it's like by his nose it looks weird so we're gonna come to about the middle keyframe right here we're gonna press p oh no my keyframes disappear it's fine because you press scale again oh they're still there it's cool so press p that opens the positioning tab um separate dimensions on that animate both of them and then go to the end of the clip right here where it's like zoomed in on like a piece of his freaking face and we're gonna just mess with the X and Y positions till we get it right where we want it on his eye. I want it to be right like above and I'm gonna bring the Y down a bit like right there and then highlight both of those F9 easy those graph editor to the rescue and we make the same slopes like we've been doing before it gets very very repetitive like just if you do the same thing over and over which I like highly recommend that you don't do the same transition like over and over and over like in this one um, mix it up add some rotations and stuff in when you're actually editing something but for practice um, this would be good for you to learn how to do zooms so um, now what that did uh, animating that position like that now it's gonna zoom in like that to his eye into the next clip so to make the next clip smooth since we did a zoom in right here so we're gonna have to start zoomed out on this clip go to about the middle make it 100 oh and then i'm gonna do a zoom out so to zoom out, you're gonna go this way with it to the left, and that's like the zoom out. You can take it as far out like this if you really wanted to. I'm just gonna keep it like this. If I was adding like a rotation or something to it, I like zoom out more. Not this much, not this much. It's like about right here. But um, for this, I'm only gonna do like right here. All right, and you know, rinse and repeat. All right, so in this one, uh, on the last clip, I zoomed out. So I'm gonna start zoomed in on this clip right here. And from here, it's the exact same thing. So I'm 100 right there, enter, move this over a little bit. And I'm gonna do another zoom out transition. So I'm gonna do it like that. Boom. I started with M and I ended with a zoom out. So I'm gonna start zooming in. And I'm not gonna go to the end of this clip cause like this is a long, one of the longer clips. So I'm gonna go to like about midway, a little bit for midway, something like that. And then I'm gonna put it back to 100. And as always, you know the drill with the graph editor. All right, so let's see what we got. All right, dope. But we could make it look even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of this. I'm gonna right click on any one of them, any one I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna pre-compose it. All right, so it's the same thing, it's just in one layer now. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate or enable the motion blur, and then you gotta enable it in the timeline too. So now it's gonna have some motion blur. Now if you wanna stack a little bit more motion blur on top of that, which if you have this plugin is does not I want to repeat this does not come with After Effects. You have to get this like you would get like a Sapphire plugin. Okay, so if you haven't done anything to get this, you don't have this. So you're gonna if you don't want to get it, you're just gonna have to stick with this, which is fine. But for those who want to you know go out and do a little bit of extra, RSMB great program. Real Smart Motion Blur is what it um, stands for. I'm gonna drag that on there. You can copy my presets. I think they're lovely. Um, and that's all I got for you. So this is a simple zoom tutorial. Um, I did a full AMV guide in the past, but you know it's like 30 minutes long. If you don't want to waste like 30 minutes of your life, 
and you just need to do one thing that's what these videos are for so i hope you enjoyed if you liked it if you got any help out of this i would really really appreciate a sub and i would appreciate it if you would stick around because i got some more tutorials coming uh, if you didn't like it let me know how i can do things better um i'm always taking feedback from you guys so peace